um yeah I th i'm thinking about doing that low-key but i don't know i don't know if it's like it's definitely like saturated but like if you get like one or two high paying clients you're good you know yeah like i'm fucking trying to do this thing with this with that bar um in south la no online presence at all like at all no man and i'm gonna actually go down there and take some pictures and build a system yeah because he's like he's like the owner is like because he's like he's like old and stuck in the 70s he's like i'm tired of answering the phone and like dealing with all these people and i'm like and I can't explain this to him because he like can't really comprehend it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to like build a website where you can book the place online, you know, fill out an application, and then he just reads it and I can say he can say yes or no, and that like eliminates half his job right there. Yeah, one person that I know um, who is in marketing, he was like. Because it's kind of the same. Basically, just like client business in general. Where it's like, you're basically a high-ranking prostitute when you're working with clients. High-paying clients, it's like, sure. Especially if you get like someone that's has a solid bankroll and is like super down with whatever you're doing as long as you produce something. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people, it's just like, you're making multiples for a company that you don't probably won't have any percentage in because someone's probably not going to give you that contract as a client um but it's yeah it's a, it's a whole lot of just being worked around <laughs> but especially but especially like getting those old companies and being like yo dude i can probably get you have no advertising on the internet I got you. And you can be like, yo, that's 10K right there. You got a budget. Give me 10K. Yeah. Give me maybe a percentage if you want to have a better deal with people because it's all on, it's all on a deal. But yeah, agencies is definitely a thing that's kind of a low hanging fruit for young people. Um, oh, yeah. There's so many people that don't it, know. It is, though. Like, and I, I, I started listening to a five hour work week. I'm on, I'm on the India part right now um but it is like starting from the foundation some a system so you're not being hoard out yourself because it is yeah. pouring out for clients <laughs> yeah i'm definitely not, i'm definitely not getting pay, paid 10k for this definitely free but i need like an example to show other people like yeah this is I mean, what i built yeah, that's a Solid thing too. Just gonna fucking like, WordPress that bitch hard. And if then you just uh scale on ads to that somehow, then you know, like tiers of stuff. Or, yeah, or say even just fucking... that. what bar is it? If you want to say, you don't want to say. I don't think I should say, but it's a bar. Remember, we were trying to do events there, Adobe House era. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be great. Um, yeah give give someone some results and like an easy er life and some value and then you're like yo i got and get some ads for you too yeah hell yeah do that dude oh my goodness because <laughs> that's that's also just a play on like yeah dude you want to give this to me or <laughs> yeah if i can just like just show them some results just be like yo and i already like it's already the bar is already on this website called pure space and i get people asking like every week yo can i have something here can i have something here but the problem is like they want it like next week and he's always booked you know and he's also kind of like hesitant to like i'm just like yo you gotta like you gotta like give me a chance here like try one event with someone that isn't like a fucking like your cousin you know yeah he wants he wants the pure sound of what he likes yeah, well, like sometimes, like fucking, he like has like bad experiences with yeah. like some people, so he's like, oh, That's I'm also afraid. You got to grab some kind of vetting process for people. Somewhere. Yeah, I'm, I was gonna do a thing where I was gonna build a system where like if you want it, if you want to book it, you book a call, right? And then we have like a Zoom conversation, so I know that you're like not a high school. 
can I can't feel like they're capable of just like time sucking this. Well, it would just literally just be like five minutes. It's like, hey, how you doing? Uh, so what are you interested in? Like using the space for? Okay, a fashion show. Okay, uh, would you be interested in a walkthrough? And then they come look at the space, and then they tell me the date they want, put down a deposit, book it, and then we're good to go. You could honestly just make a, a Calendly site, and that would uh, just have some kind of calendar booking management thing. <laughs> I was gonna do Calendly, but I gotta I gotta meet these people because I where I work right now I do fucking events. Well, how about I that? Got, how do how do they? They call, and I don't know if they're like serious or not. And they're just like fucking wasting time. Like this one fucking guy, he's calling from like New York or something, and he's just so unprepared. He's like, "Hey, can I use?" No, automatically. <laughs> huh? That's a no automatically. If someone's like off off the rip, not like buttoned up. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, and I want it to be like. The book also says like be very selective with who you choose because you don't want to fucking be losing money on someone that's bad. So. In terms of just. In correlation to clients for events, like yeah, like for example, like somebody that wants to pay with a check instead of just like PayPaling me or whatever, and then their shit bounces, and then what? What is the? Uh, it's cool that you're the uh, the place you're at because you're just like a model to rip off of. Amazing. It's one great thing. One great thing about jobs is like if you go in a correct space, you can rip off all of their intellectual property. Yeah, and that's basically what you should be doing at a job. I work for the city, dude. It's so fucking slow. Everyone is always like, why can't I pay with a credit card? I'm like, dude, <laughs> because I work for the city uh, and they're right. stuck in the 90s. It's also make like, you see, especially for like, uh, for government stuff, you see the, uh, like the chokehold and everything that goes slow with that. And then you can make some software or something. Like, so yeah. slow. Uh, but how do they, how, do they, how does the city vet uh, bans? Okay. So, well, now it's just like like events like let's say uh someone's like yo i want to have a thing there so usually they call and i'm like okay um what do you want and then i they tell me it and then me a human person turns my head around looks at the calendar and then i turn my head back and say yes that's available or that's not please give me your email i will email you an application and then they email me the application and then they send me the application and then i I refill it out on the computer, right? When they could just do it straight away. I refill it out on the computer. Software then, to be made, dude. Yeah, but also I would lose my job if they did that. So, uh, you know, <laughs> pros and cons, the, all the AI jobs will take jobs, but you got to make some of the things that will help out the AI, you know? You just yeah. got to be part of the, the sellers. So anyway, yeah, so I... so. I determine if they're like approved or not, and that's like based on like I don't fucking know. Yeah, that's a bad. That's a bad way to think about. Because if you made a, a software that gets you out of a job, then that means you've successfully made a software that people need. Well, no, 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 no. This is this is like totally needed. But I could like I, I don't. Fuck, it's it's weird when you're like when I'm working for like the public sector. Like if this was a business, I would be like, fire me immediately. Like you're wasting money on me. But I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. So anyway, they email me a thing, fucking whatever, and then they have to physically come in and give me a check. They have to fit, take time out of their day, and I, and I'm downtown. So if they're in the valley, that's like, that's like two, three hours out of their day to fucking come to me, hand me a check, and it needs to clear before they get the yes or no, right? So that's like what three days, a three day process. When they could just literally PayPal it or something. Have you brought that up to whoever's above? Yes. Even well, my immediate supervisor is like, this is bullshit. Yeah. But yeah. he has yeah. no power because it's the fucking city. Hmm. Who do you yeah. talk to if you're like, yo, can we get some PayPal? He's on, he's on meetings every week and nobody knows who's in charge. So. Oh, really? Yeah. It's weird. Well, I got to ask this guy. Well, I got to ask this guy. Well, I got to ask her. Well, you know, she's not never going to approve this. It's not on the budget. Like, then who, keep, keep, who keeps the password? Oh, you know, it's like, it's like a not good system. It's the, how do you guys, how, how do you keep passwords? I mean, don't say anything bad. But. I, I'm sure there's a spreadsheet or something. I'm really, honestly, I'm honestly appalled. It's really 
I drive around LA and I'm like, how does the city work? Like, how does it function? Because the people that run it like are fucking chickens with their heads cut off. Like, how do I fucking turn on the water and shit comes out of it? Like clean water. I mean, how do the lights stay on? Like, how do we have a storm and the power just doesn't go out? (laughs) That's that's probably where you get the the trickle down of not like (laughs) where you have to, you get your, your major life need things under control. And then once you're over there down to events, it's like, I don't know. Do you let them deal with it? Yeah. and, And permitting is so weird. Permitting is really weird. But I was going to say, if you like, if you suggest a system of just like email and PayPal to the the city show gig, and then you can test it for your own uh, bar thing. Yeah, it's It's, that's what I do. It's like I I'm seeing if other people are using things that I could be using. Yeah, there's really. I am learning, and this is something I we really should have done Adobe house era really utilize sponsors as much as possible because companies yeah, what, love giving away free shit. That's what, um, when, uh, old, old boys group, uh, ubiquitous love tribe had the, uh, the, what's it called? The, their little things. Yerba Mart, Yerba Mate brand. You know that uh-huh. one? Yeah. And I was like, Oh, I mean, you guys have a Yerba Mate plug. Like, yeah, I Some, remember that guy Tim also did that. He had a thing. We had like yeah. veggie grill come out, and I was like, "Whoa, how do you?" How? Hey, you guys want to blah 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 blah? I was I literally asked him, bro, how'd you pay for this? He's like, I didn't. Yeah, I was like, whoa, that blew my mind. Another thing that I liked so far that I read in uh, Ferris's five hour work book thing is um, one the uh, the going up and asking people for their number just for that exercise, but um, calling super high-ranking people and being like yo let me talk to you bro yeah 